What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to draft number three here. Dual strike. When you cast the next instant or source spell, can I ask for a copy? I don't care. Shadow's good. Bears of Lydiara are pretty sweet. We can maximize our shape shifters. Um, I like Behold the Multiverse. This pack doesn't seem super strong. It's just a kind of bunch of, like, Invoke's not great. This is not great. This is not great. I'm going to try Bears because our first draft was Turgrid Shadow. And I kind of want something a little different. So we're going to take the Bears. Ooh, we get a Saw It coming. That's actually kind of cool. And there's nothing else in this pack that I'm really super interested in. I thought Raider's Carve was actually really good for us. Does anybody have any experience with Raider's Carve? Like, I thought it was great. But I'm wondering if anyone else thinks it's better. Feed the Serpent, obviously one of the best pack cards in this pack. <sighs> Might just want Feed the Serpent, to be honest. I don't know if we need to commit to this, and we can also splash it. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. This is a changeling, so it works nice with the bears. I mean, being able to make a bunch of changelings four fours is pretty sweet. Just bouncing a guy is also not terrible. I think Mast Vandal's good. Hmm, Vega the Watcher. Every cast is over anywhere other than your hand. Draw a card. Also, R Rhyme Wood Falls. Probably the best card in here for the deck we're trying to play. Plus, there's a bunch of good snow cards in green and blue, so. Vega was dope in Street Fighter. I would play Vega frequently because I would be like, oh, this guy looks cool. He's got a mask and a claw. And then I was like, this doesn't really speak to my fighting style, unfortunately. I mean, I think I just like Lit Yara, Lit Yara Ken, Ken Seekers. Um... Especially if we're trying to have a bunch of giant or wizard. Changelings are good with giants and wizards. Oh, it's not going to do anything, though. That, that card's not great. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Kinseeker. I do like Run Ashore. I think it's actually pretty good. This guy's a changeling, though? Hmm. You're an elf rogue. Which Street Fighter would you best identify? I, I was a big Guile player back in the day. Actually, hmm, return, the owner of Target Anonymous Permanent puts it on top of their library. Return an Anonymous Permanent to its owner's hand. I'm going to take this. I think we can get more Glade Walkers. I bet we can get more Run Ashores instead. Interesting. I want to take the Volatile Fjord, just in case we are playing snow cards, and uh, it lets us splash a red. <sighs> Mast Vandal number two. Ice Tunnel. Not bad. Um... I think it might be Ice Tunnel or Raven form. I'm going to take Ice Tunnel. I, I don't want to give up on feeding the Serpent just yet, <laughs> if you know what I mean. There's a bug in the Street Fighter Championship edition of Vega's box for detecting when you, his hitbox uh, extended to the end of his claw so you could jump in the air throw the opponent when you weren't even close to them. It was Yeah, that sounds terrible. Uh, I don't care about Disdainful Stroke. Undersea Invader might be fine. 
mean, it's just a 5-6 flash for 6. I don't care about pilfering Hawk, really. Hmm. I think Horizon Seeker is actually pretty decent, especially if we're trying to... Uh, I'll take the Snowland. I'll take the Carve. Eh, okay. Sure. Like, this card's just like... Search your library for an instant or sorcery with the same name as a card in your graveyard. Like, the odds of that are so incredibly low and limited. Oh, yes. The Guardian Gladewalker came back? That's actually really exciting with Bears of Lit Yara. Like, all the changelings become... Uh, any any number of shapeshifters become 4-4s, four which is pretty sweet. And we have three shapeshifters outside of what Bears gives us. Cool, cool, cool. Sure, I'll take a zombie berserker. Ooh, blue green land. That's not bad. Not really anything else I really care about in this pack either. Like, the only other playable card is, like, the Lityar Kinseeker, which is good, but I think I'd rather have better fixing. This also lets us play more swamps, theoretically, if we're trying to... Return upon the tide. Return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield if it's an elf, create two elves. We can actually play this and return uh, like a changeling and get two elves out of it, which is kind of cool. I'm going to take the ice tunnel, I think. We're going to have a bunch of <laughs> lands that come into play tapped. But we're also going to have a sweet amount of snow lands. Right now we have four. Plus, with two ice tunnels, if we get any of the 2-2 the two -two that untaps a um, untaps a snow permanent, then we actually get to uh, get to play, like, Feed the Serpent off of one ice tunnel, which is nice. I'm assuming this guy, Horizons here, only gets basics, because otherwise that'd be really broken. Um, this guy was amazing. Uh, Hailstorm Valkyrie is pretty decent, but I don't think I want to commit that heavily. It might just be another Kinseeker or a Behold the Multiverse. So this guy's a 3-5. I think we're just going all in on Changelings. Like, if we have any creature Changeling Changeling, then this, this, this procs. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Kinseeker. Uh, sacrifice this create a token that's a copy of a target creature control except it enters the battlefield with 1-1 one, one counter on it sure that's not bad especially because it's just land I might just want to return upon the tide like honestly we have so many changelings that this is literally just going to give us 2-1-1s one, for free you better not dare splash anything <laughs> buddy I'm playing 3 colors oh what is this thing it's a changeling. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent you control except it's legendary. Oh, we already read this in like our first draft, didn't we? If it's a creature, it enters with two additional counters. It's actually pretty decent, right? Yeah, we're taking the changeling. We're all in on changelings. Masked Vandal number two. Um... Oh, this is this one's fantastic. Exile a creature card from your graveyard, put two counters on target creature. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. And it's a changeling. <laughs> Buddy, we're all in on changelings. I can't wait to behold the multiverse, dude. I am so looking forward to that Doctor Strange movie. I mean, this guy's a maybe. This card's probably a yes. Four Snowlands so far, but we don't have a ton of things relying on Snowlands, so that's good. Um, this just seems like a fifth Snowland moment. I don't care about Yeti. Sorry, Yeti. 
I really wish they grouped together, even though, like, just because they have different art, like, you're going to make it less, you're going to make it more difficult to, like, to parse in my brain. How about three drop look? Three drop, not great. So we can take Mistwalker, and that's a changeling? Oh my god. Bears of Lit Yara is going to be bananas if we, if we draw it in our games. That Yeti's feelings are hurt. Oh, dang it, Yeti, I'm sorry. Mill four cards and return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I don't know how many freaking tap lands we want. We have three so far. That's actually not terrible. I think it's probably better than Jas Jasper Sent Sentinel. Oh, if the other return upon the tide came back? That's interesting. I mean, I'll take it. I think it's better than a null. Wow, this guy should not be here. I'm going to take Broken Wings, but someone's getting a little bonus there. Yeti is not ready for mom's spaghetti. <laughs> um, is this just zombies, Jason the Mind Sculptor? Sure. Oh, I got another one. I'll just take village rights here. I'm not going to play double drag, Draugr Thought Thief. I might not even play one. Oh, the, wow, the, um, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. I mean, we're definitely taking Valky here and we're going to try to splash him as well. So I apologize to anyone. Hey, admirable, admiral, admirable, admirable, admiral, buddy. Look who we're taking. Old growth troll too? It's gotta be old growth troll. This card is just great. I mean, also a lot of our lands add green. Rhymewood Falls, Bark Channel Pathway. Yeah. All right, I'm just taking the rares here, guys. It's not rare drafting if they're in your colors. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll play Valky as a two two drop, but I'm I'm really just hoping we can get a way to an efficient way to splash that. Ooh, Ice Bind Pillar is nice. Scullery discards two cards. Yeah, let's take the Ice Bind Pillar. This card's great. We just have to pick up some snow mana, but I think our deck is pretty pretty good right now. So, another Guardian Glade Walker. I think we're good on Guardian Glade Walkers. That are on 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 on. on. Let's take another Feed the Serpent because we're already going deep on the black. So, I don't think we have any five drops actually. No, we can actually take a grizzled a grizzled outrider. That seems fine. I would love some green black or black red or red green lands. Those are the ones we want. Snow oh, Shimmer, Shimmer Drift Veil is exactly what we wanted. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. That's any color we want. It's a third green, a second black, or a red for our Planeswalker. Also, we, like having like one four, four four, a bunch of two fours, like we have a bunch of defense, double feed the serpent. Um, huh. how's our curve looking now? I mean, because there's nothing in this pack that we really care about other than like Liara Kinseeker. Chain creature has base power zero. 
this is actually just removal, right? Like, I mean, it just gets rid of their guy. Yeah, I'll take Wither Crown. I mean, we're already three colors. Oh, man, why couldn't you be a red? Calder's Vicious Return. You may sack a creature when you do. It deals three damage to any target. Each player discards a card. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put one counter against haste. It's actually pretty good. I mean, I'm going to take Packmate here instead. I can see cutting undersea, fat daddy. Let's just take another Wither Crown, sure. Solid removal. It's whatever. Um, I might actually want Jasper a Sentinel because not only does it ramp us, it also adds the red. Hmm. We'll take the wings. Man, I would have killed for like one more red snow land. Hey, Ra Lake Raven form is not bad. Definitely play that over like a Wither Crown. Disdainful Stroke is pretty nice for the sideboard. And finally... Okay. This thing looks sweet. Might want to take out Raider's Carve. I can see that. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six lands to, to use for... Uh, with Icebind Pillar, which seems pretty decent. And we have a lot of powerful cards. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands and 29 cards. Actually, we don't have to cut anything, which is interesting. We're actually, we got to add something. That's, that's neat. It's really hard to parse these lands because they're all separated like one forest, one forest, three forests. And you're like, oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, cancel. So we get to add one thing. It might just be a second Wither Crown. Okay, so am I, am I like reading this incorrectly? And she, so like they have a 4-4. Four, four. We put this on their 4-4. Four, four. It becomes a 0-4. At the beginning of their upkeep, they lose a life, so they sacrifice it, right? Like this card doesn't seem bad, right? The wolf? Are you telling me to add a wolf or remove a wolf? Because I'm definitely not cutting Sarl's Packmate, if that's what you mean. Oh, oh, oh my God! We have we have Volatile Fjord. Oh my God, that's fantastic! Not only is it another Iceland, but it adds the red for the Valky. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, it's so good. Loving it. How many creatures do we have in here? 13, huh? Thirteen, but bears gives us a creature. Also, using Return Upon the Tide to get back a Grizzled Outrider seems really good. All right, let's see what kind of lands we have here. One, two. I don't actually think we're playing. I, I, I kind of want to play just one mountain for Horizon Seeker, but it makes it like Old Growth Troll makes it really difficult. But honestly, guys, if, even if you're playing Old Growth Troll on like turn five, it's still a very good card. It's still a four, 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 five. It ramps you. So don't get it twisted. Like you don't have to play these cards on turn three just because it's a three drop. A lot of people are like, you'll never get on turn three. I'm like, it's still fine on turn five or six. I mean, maybe we just want an 18th land. What do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of green. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's really good. Black, right now, we have four five six seven i 
And then red, we have Volatile Fjord, Shimmer Drift, Veil. I kind of want to cut one swamp for just one, one mountain. And the reason is we can get it with Horizon Seeker. I don't know if that's good enough, though. I don't know, this deck seems kind of sweet. I might just want another forest, just so we can actually... Uh, we have a better shot of old growth trolling. We could also play another Wither Crown, because it's just solid removal. This guy's fine. We have a lot of three drops as it is. It might just be Wither Crown. I mean, this card seems actually pretty decent to me. Maybe I'm crazy. All right, let's see what this deck does. It's pretty wild. So we have six black sources, but we also have the one drop um, that can make any color mana. We have the three drop that can that can search out basics. Uh, this hand seems pretty decent. We just need a black source. But even we can even foretell this on turn two, so it doesn't mean we have nothing to do. We're on the draw. What? Wait, you just ran this out on turn one as a sorcery. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. This is going to be the Wither Crown Draft uh, tryouts. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. We're going to foretell this thing. And then next turn we can play Icebind Pillar. This guy's just a generic 2-4, unfortunately. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, we're not under a ton of pressure right now. I still think we play Pillar here. So they have... They can pump this guy once, make it a two. Okay, so now we have Valky mana, so that's kind of cool. Yikes. Don't like that. Let's ship let's ship Run Ashore and probably Kin Seekers. Because if we play this on a Kin Seeker, it's actually pretty good. Just four mana to make me discard? Okay. I'm just making big grunts. Oh, that's a good draw. Mm -hmm. 
So if we hit a land, we can actually play this. Keep up Ice Pillar. And I think it would I think it would this would still trigger because we'd have elf elf elf. That's my theory. I mean, for them to trade here, they it would have to they could both die, right? So, like, if they want to spend their turn going pump, pump, pump to make this a four one, they can't even do that. So, That's pretty good. No, don't like that. Really? Oh, well, I wouldn't have done that if it didn't if I knew it didn't trigger. That's really unfortunate. There's a battlefield if you control three or more creatures that share a creature type. Yeah, we got blockers now at least. Next time we can put Wither Crown on this guy. That doesn't seem great, to be honest. So we want to hit a land so we can actually play this guy and still keep up this. This guy getting pumped. Sure, block. They did not pump. And they did not do anything. Okay. We have a window here to play this, so I'm going to do that now. Next. Uh, no attacks. End the turn. End the turn. They have one card in hand. Return that to their hand sure yeah okay that's uh yeah okay sure um Tap this gentleman. Oh, they did not attack. That's what father likes. Now we get to play this guy. Trigger. Um, does that do anything we care about? Not really. We can bottom that. Now we have a blocker for this guy. I feel like this deck is gonna like, <laughs> it's gonna struggle to win games, but it's not gonna be, not cause it's bad, just because it's like, that's fine. 05 still blocks 4 5.
it's weird that you bounce the wither crown but then like you don't attack with the guy so it's like See that's a good that's a good draw. Let's draw let's play that guy. Draws us a card. We're gonna hit a blue green snow land, I bet. Oh, we hit a green guy. No attacks. End of turn. And we're at 14, we have a grip full of sweet stuff, plus an ice bind pillar, plus, like, a board that's really hard to get through. Sure. I don't think we've seen a single other elf or berserker other than this bird. Okay, now we're talking. Old growthy boy. I kind of want to use one of these, but I don't think it's really even necessary, to be quite honest. I do kind of like the clock it provides, but they'll probably just sacrifice it, and then they get to draw a card anyway, so it's like, that just seems worse than leaving it on the board. Unfortunately, none of our creatures can get around this guy, <laughs> so, you know. Bring me a higher love. Oh. Be -de -de -de. Well, if they put the Hexproof equipment on the bird, I'll tap it in response, and then next turn I'll wither crown it, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. Oh my god, next turn we get to play Tybalt. That's exciting. <laughs> oh boy. That's what living the dream feels like. No attacks. End the turn. Tybalt goes up to 7, which means even if they attack with this guy, they just can't do anything. God, I'm just hoping they don't have, like, counterspell in hand. Bring me a higher love. Whoa. So they have one card. Fingers crossed. Old growth orc. Guys, you got this is gonna be it's gonna be it. I'll make this another blue. Um tap. I want to keep up uh, Ice Bind Pillar. We have 21 cards, they have 25, so it's worth being careful of. Oof. Destroy a creature if this build is foretold, scry two. And we got our own masked vandal to get rid of the giant's amulet. Wow, that's really, really good. <sighs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's not worth splashing, Admirable says. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. And we got this emblem. You may play cards, exile the tilt, and you may spend mana as though or any mana to cast those. This card's so good. So good. 
You got it. That's a cool burb. I got poison the cup. So we can actually foretell it on our turn and then kill them on their turn. So we pay one more, but we get to scry, basically. Oh, man. This is just too much. Uh, what does Fortel say? During your turn, you may spend two and exile this from your hand. Oh, you might be right. You might be right. Oh, we gotta behold the multiverse? <laughs> Good grief, man. Oh no, we don't have a creature in the graveyard. Well, that's unfortunate. Your, your, your papa messed up real bad. still have to win the game somehow. Valky doesn't... Tibble, unfortunately, doesn't win the game. Oh, man. Playing this might have been the worst thing we could have done, unfortunately. What if I bring it out? Can I cancel it? Yeah, okay. Just just making sure. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass here. No attacks. Yeah, I assume they will have enough cards for us to... God, man, playing this without a creature in the graveyard is rough. Because we really wanted to get rid of this. This makes our, our Oath Girl Troll just so much better when they don't have... <laughs> it's just a 4-5 and we're like, I like I was a 4-4. Four, four. And in response, I will tap it. We have 18 cards. Also, Lit Yara is going to be real good. Oh, that's see, that's good. Oh, Excel and Artifact. That's cool. Let's do that. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, God. And now we can play it for five? Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. It's new cards. We all learning. How's Baby doing with their first call time drafts? Baby went 3-0 and then 2-1. This is our first game in draft three, and it's taking forever. How much time do we have? 23 and they have 20? All right, first blood. So what do we have? Let's go this guy. I will definitely pay for all the... Yeah, auto pay. Got it. This is going to make a black... And then we get to, we got one, two, three. Yeah, we can easily foretell this and then still keep up Tapparino. Cool. I don't see how we lose this game, to be quite honest. It might take a miracle. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, man. That's wild. Uh, Broken Wings actually seems really good. We've seen a 3-3, a 1-4, and the giant card. Bring me... Uh, why is bring me... I'm going to take Run Ashore out, I think. Well, actually, they have a token, right? It makes the giant token, so we can actually bounce that guy. Man, Ice Mine Pillar was awesome. Uh, Tybalt was friggin' insane. I mean, Morgan can copy lots of things. It can copy Tybalt, right? And it has the same name. Otherwise, I don't know how that works. I 
hearing like noises. I do want a broken wings in here. Maybe for raven form, actually. That seems fine. Also, being able to just bounce Tybalt back to our hand if they try to kill it is pretty cool. I don't know. I'm not under any impression that our deck isn't good enough. Our deck seems fantastic. Uh, the sand seems fine. I would like a couple more lands, but we can also... If we draw any land that comes into play untapped, we can actually play Foretell This on turn 3. So I think we're definitely keeping here. Especially on the draw. Any untapped land is good. And we nailed it. And because we have our two blue, I'm definitely making this a green. These lands look also incredible. Oh, and there's another land anyway. So now we can play Ice Tunnel into Packmate, and then we can play Ice Bind Pillar into Fjord. And then we have not Feed the Serpent mana, but we do have Lityara Glade Warden mana. Sure. Bring me a higher love. How are you feeling with this limited format? Uh, so far, pretty good. I mean, I, I think my... So, it's weird to say, but I think my, my initial record of a format uh, really affects how good I think it is. And the reason being, like... I don't, know, I don't know how to say it. Like, I feel like I'm an above-average player. I would have definitely traded with the Draugr Thought Thief there instead of wasting a Feed the Serpent. But, you know, so be it. Um, Actually, I kind of... This just becomes a 4-4. Four, four. But we're taking 3 this turn. Is this Exile? Wow, that's really good. So we actually want to play this after because we don't have a chance next turn. I'll, I'm going to finish my thought in a second. Um, we could just play Snow Covered Forest and and play Ice Bind Pillar. I think that's actually fine. Because next turn it lets us play uh, Wither Crown on something and also tap something down. So we actually have a good amount of defense here. And I think our deck just wins in the long game. So what I was saying is, as, as an above average player, um, I know, crazy, right? If I am if I feel like I'm winning more, um, I feel like it's based on strategic plays rather than... Um, what do you mean? Like, rather than, like, randomness, right? Like, I'm not just losing to random bombs. I'm not just, like, losing to, like, to crazy top decks. It's a lot, is it? These are good lands. I mean... Um, I'm definitely playing Ice Tunnel because I want to have a second Blackout for Feed the Serpent. We can also play this guy and just like... I don't know, we'd take a million though, unfortunately. I'm just going to put this on here. And then if they play anything else, like... They're like, no, nah, I don't want to take this damage. I'm going to sacrifice it. Wow, that's weird. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. We have no incentive to tap this guy down, so... So now we're going to exile the 4-4. Four, four. Um, uh, 
play the Fjord. And now our mana base is just fantastic. I mean, with seven mana next turn, we can play both of these. And if they kill one, we have return to get back uh, the changeling. I, I would assume they kill this guy. I mean, this is fine main phase. I don't mind this. Definitely tapping this guy down in response. This is also a good turn to play both of these because we're not going to be able to tap this guy down anyway once it untaps. Okay. I was like, let's ho let's hit that Tybalt, but we did not. How many whiskey chocolates is too many whiskey chocolates? You know, that's a good question. It might have a lot to do with body weight. Three, four, six. They have eight mana to do with whatever they wish. We're going to make two four fours next turn. Even if we make one four four, that's still pretty okay. Ice Spine Pillar has just been fantastic. Especially since we have like 96 snow sources in our deck. That's all they did was play a raven. Well, it's unfortunate this was not on the battlefield, but mm, that's okay. If it's a creature, it enters with two additional. So we can actually copy this and make a 5-5? Five, five? I think they're going to bounce this. I think they have a, a bouncy boy. Well, fascinating. Two cards, no creatures, huh? You yeah, have the center of the battlefield, power and control, so it's legendary and snow. I mean, we could copy this. It just gives us another 4-4, four, four, right? But then we get to fight one more thing. I'm going to tap this guy down and attack. If this guy dies, we're milling a bunch, which is pretty good for return. Had a feeling. So now we can actually return that guy and make two one ones as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's one, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play this, copy the Saga, make another 2-2. Two, two. Does that do anything? Is that just worse than this? 
I think getting the two one ones is pretty relevant here. Sure, that's fine. Not great, but manageable. Target up to one. Each creature with power four or greater. We have none. But we drew one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still no creatures in our graveyard, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just going to play big fat 5-5 five, five here. See if they have a counter. No. Okay, now we can tap the bird forever. I think copying this as a 7-7 seven, seven is pretty good. You got it. Might have to find a way to deal with that at 10. Guys, we found a way to deal with this. <laughs> Unfortunate, but okay. If they still double block, it's actually still good for us. We have nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we have eight. One, two, three, four, five. We are one shy from playing both of these, unfortunately. All right. Well. Yeah, four drafts in a row where you can't get to four lands is pretty rough. Wither Crown. Sure. Hmm. Why didn't I tap anything? I'm an idiot. Wow, I got really distracted right there. That's terrible. Wow, that's really bad. I think I still want to kill this. This is easier to block than this. Yeah, that was stupid. Wow. So basically I have three turns to find an answer to the giant's amulet or the raven itself. Uh, take action. Goodbye. I guess we could copy the raven? No, we can't. That's not how that works. Oh, we could have copied... No, nope, we don't control that either. Okay. I'll get it right eventually. I mean, we're basically... We are actually have a decent clock with a 7-7 seven, seven here. That's not bad. I 
How many snow lands do they have? Literal two? That's not... That doesn't do anything. Alright. Jesus, this is bad. Aren't they dead? <laughs> Guess I'll just kill them. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's so bad that I have the win on the board. Okay, well, that's good. Glad we saw that. Ridiculous. What's it's over, Johnny, from? Is that a quote from something? All right. One down. Boy, that was a... That was a, that was a mess. Um, Mistwalker into bears actually seems pretty good. I'll keep this hand. The question is, do we make this a black, a green, or a red? Well, now we're making it a green. It's from Rambo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I might as well foretell this guy. I'm gonna play another green here because obvious reasons. You got it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say no attacks. I don't think we're the aggressive deck at all. And plus, like, if they have a way to remove one of these guys, then they get to attack us for three. Not a great deal. Your typing skills are superb. I do what I can. It's almost like I've been typing for a living for the past 10 years. Oh, wow. That was a great hit. It turns on Feed the Serpent. Yeah, this looks, this looks good for us. Um, still gonna no attacks here. I don't. I don't feel like, like with our hand, <laughs> I feel like we win the long game. See, and now they're gonna have to. Yeah. See, like if we attack with this guy, or if we attack with the bird, they kill the other one. They get in there for three. Like, that's a big ass bird. Uh, one, two. Uh, play this. Now we get Feed the Serpent and Raven form up. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they're going to crew their longboat here. Okay. 
Oh, they didn't crew in response? Oh, that's really good for us. Wow. That's fantastic. Wow, that was terrible. Because they could have double blocked if they did that. We're now we're going to kill this guy for free anyway, so... Okay, we just win the game. Our hand is old growth troll Valky. Nice. Oh, boy. They have a ton of removal, it looks like, so... I think we're actually fine just playing it like this. I don't think we're in... One second. Um, this seems fine. This guy on turn one into like something else on two is actually. Move that stuff. Four fat chickens, give me your meat. Man, Kerr, what's up late tonight? Since we're not playing anything, we can easily just foretell this guy. This is actually great because Mistwalker into Lajara Kinseekers means we can actually trigger it. Which is pretty sweet. We could also play a forest and still play old growth. Yeah, that's my own. Oh, uh, I don't think I do want Ice Tunnel. Like, we have... Yeah, this is fine. That guy's good. So is this, though. Oh, we can't play that this turn because of the blue mana. Yeah, we're just going to attack for a billion. That's a blue mana. They have one card in hand. Uh, one, two. Turn island permit put in its owner's library. Okay. Oh boy. That's a 2 0, my dudes. That is a 2 0.
All right, so even if we lose here, I'm still feeling okay about it. Oh yeah, flip that guy. All right, let's see if we can tibble some dudes out of existence. Two, oh, <laughs> see, that's funny. Um, yeah. I'll keep this hand. Did I let me play first? Or did I choose to play first? I don't even know. Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to name... Blah. I guess blue. Fuck. That gives us one way to, to actually cast Val. That's fine. It's still better for our game right now. Of course we draw Rhyme one. Rhyme Wood falls next turn. <sighs> Sad. Should have named Red. Okay, well. This deck was sweet. Regardless of what happens. Oh man, so many faithfuls. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll just play Ice Tunnel and pass here. Man, if we could draw the, f the Fjord next turn, that would be amazing. I don't think we're going to depart here. It's one mana. I think we can get a better value off of it in the future. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we could have actually foretold this too. I don't know why we didn't foretell that. I'm just gonna get rid of forest here. Hey look, we hit a forest. Um, I still just don't want to play Valky here. I think the upside of playing, of like hitting like one of our two red sources is significantly better than the odds of like, although our draw has not been good. This one Shimmer Drift of Veil, one turn too soon. Like, it's just too good. Like, the 2-1 the just doesn't do nearly enough. Prowl Driver, I did. I did. So I believe you were my opponent. Um... Yeah, we'll just take three here. I'm not super excited about running either of these things aground. Yep, that's fine. Why aren't they playing the other Coma's Faithful instead? Eh, okay, sure. I 
I mean, returning upon the tide, this guy is not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Yeah, that's a pretty easy block, especially if you're gonna mill us. Don't mill my land. Okay, they did not. And we actually didn't hit anything good to, to get back with return, but it does still give us like three bodies, so. That's fine. Interesting. Okay, sure. One, two, three. Yeah, can't do anything. Well, they have a lot of cards, and I don't really understand why they have so many cards. Sure. One, two, three, four. Lane Warden doesn't do anything against their army of three power guys. Uh, put target no land top. And sure, this seems fine. Yeah, I mean we can play this. Copy the ice bind pillar. And then have two. But they're going to put two more guys on the board again this turn, so. Yep. Well, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Who's playing this? <laughs> Steal a guy, block. Ugh. We have seven mana, which means we could do it if we had three black. We only have one black. So technically this isn't even an option. We kind of just have to play this guy. Oh, we actually should have tapped this guy down. These are both the same, except this guy's lifelink, so it's actually just making our our job harder. I feel like our draws this game have been pretty bad. Yeah, that's a good draw. We may exchange control of two target creatures. Boy, I wonder how long they've been waiting to play that. Yep. Seems good. Oh, that's very good. Oh yeah, <laughs> get rid of that thing. Second black would be nice.
So we tap one thing down. One, two, three, four. Can't really do it this turn. All right, well. Two cards. <sighs> yeah, their draws have just been so much better than ours. Sure. Yep, and there goes our only... Oh, no, that's not it. All right, well. They do have a ton of four power creatures, so that's good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go feed the serpent on something. Tap two things down. Feed, tap, tap. Take four. Okay. I think we just have to Valky here. That. Oh, no, we don't have three black, so we can't. Or I think we're just dead here. Yep. All right, well. If we go exile, tap, tap, we still take four. Yep. Okay. Okay. Like, we have so many good cards in our deck, it's really funny. Keep. This is nice because it's an elf, so it's like it's not only going to be one of their. It's not only going to be one of their prime targets to kill, but it's also. Gonna be one of our prime targets to return. Bjorn, what up, my dude? Good to see anybody. Your move, jabroni. Guess we'll just go this guy into this guy. Oh, cool! They milled. Oh, they milled our Tibble. I mean, we can still return it to the battlefield. And then try to bounce it with something. Huh? Again, these have been really bad hits, which is kind of funny. Um, it doesn't do anything that we want it to do. I think we're dying again. That sucks. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a good one. That's what we're that's what we're looking for. Yeah, this draw has been terrible. I don't know. That's 
not the worst. We're also going to play it now so they can't counter it. The sad thing is we only have one creature. I actually kind of want to return Valky and then bounce it to our hand so we still have the chance to play Tybalt. But, like, them milling us makes our return to the tide pretty decent. Okay. Well, that plan is done. We don't have double blue. That is unfortunate. Oh, that resolved. Fascinating. Okay, that's good. It means they probably don't have Counterspell in hand. That's fine. That guy's probably going to be very good. That's pretty fascinating. Yeah, no blocks here. Alright, now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, six. Oh, actually, do we have enough to do everything? Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, they didn't tap this guy down? Did they not spend snow? Oh, they used their snow for the hawk. Oh, that's pretty bad. I'm really tempted to just bounce these two guys. I guess they could just replay this guy for four and then replay this guy for two and it gets the counters again. No, auto tapper didn't screw them. They only have one snowman and they used it to loot. So... What can you do? It is an instant, but we've seen counter spells from their deck, so. Um, put on the library.
This seems good if their last card is not Counterspell. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, we're letting them keep this guy because as they play it, this will be their second spell. So it's not on the battlefield when they cast their second spell. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. That's a yikes for me, dog. Alright, well. We need one ground blocker and one air blocker. I guess there's no point in attacking with these three. This is 11, though. They have to block. If we attack with everything, they block the two biggest. Let's say they just block here and a 1-1. One, one. They take 4, 5, 6. I'm just going to play this and name second blue source. So that we have it. There's also no incentive to keep it in our hand. So we know both the cards in their hand. Seems fine. Give me something good. That's actually very good. Wow. We still got a game. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, let's put you on top. turn. So now I have four blockers. Plus a 7-7 seven, seven and a 4-4. Four, four. That's pretty good. Pass to them attackers. Do we just quad block here? I mean, I get a 7-7 seven, seven and a 4-4 four, four at the end of the turn, and I got a bunch of 1-1s, one, so... And they have one card to work with? That's fine. This guy is trample as well, so they have to, like, they're just basically dead here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, we got one more game. I kind of like Disdainful Stroke here. I mean, what does it hit? It hits this guy, it hits this guy. Maybe it doesn't hit that much stuff. It does hit the Trickster God's Heist. They have a bunch of one ones. Or X ones, rather, not one ones. Mm. 
Excuse me. Um, it's funny, we have 13 creatures, which is not that few. Yet we're, like, having a hard time hitting, like, targets for Return Upon the Tide. Like, I definitely think our deck is good enough, and I think Disdainful Stroke might be fine, because these games are going long. I don't know if Raven Form is actually that good. They're playing a bunch of creatures that are, like, X1s already. All right. Uh, we. What do you mean? Could we could we already cast Tybalt? Yes, but it was in our graveyard. Uh, this seems fine. Speak of the devil. Also, the second one of these will trigger. If we can draw a Raven, that would be insane. Trigger, trigger. Got it. I might just play that actually. It blocks their 2 2. Also, it's a changeling, so it does trigger this. Oh, that's pretty good. And next turn we can play this. Oh, that's really good. Wow, that's great. Oh, man. Is there a pump? Do I care about a pump? I'm just taking it. I don't care. Like, having a 3-5 on board is just so much better. <sighs> wow. That's really unfortunate. <sighs> well. I mean, they still trigger next turn. And we still get to nug their four drop so that's actually not terrible hopefully they'll just play a four drop that would be cool they did nothing okay oh wow we got the trigger feed the serpent and i got double black oh yeah we'll keep that on top oh uh, no attacks We're just going to do it again next turn. Oh, look what we drew, guys. That's really good. Um, We don't actually need this right now. Nor am I in a position where I want to be drawing it, so... Fine. So they have no creatures in the graveyard, and we just get to keep up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no attacks. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess we'll just pass here. Our hand is very good. That is just fine. And not a card I am too concerned with. Yeah, all this is fine. None of these do anything. And that's your entire hand. Yikes, ors. They have two mana they can recast this guy. So put in your library this guy. And put this guy on top.
They can recast it. I don't really care. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We still get to keep up. I don't feel like our attacks are very good here, unfortunately. I'm gonna kill this guy next turn. Keep up, feed the, feed the serpent. And now we just have second feed the serpent for like infinite, infinite yolos. No creatures though. So we got easy blocks like. Yeah, this is an easy block. Plus, we get to activate this guy next turn. Oof. Grizzled Outrider, huh? What else did we hit? Horizon Seeker? Sure. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's very good. Make a 5-5, five, five, draw a card. Sure. 3-0. Thought we were going to lose this round. 3-0, 2-1, 3-0 our first three called Heim drafts. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore and ch try to consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. It's a great way to support the content you're watching right now. And um, it really helps me survive. I get to eat dinner. I get to buy furniture for my house. I get to pay my rent. And, uh, you know, so great things. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.